Chips the tape. Unlucky for Catania, who'd already committed. Great swing from Regas, but they've defended him twice now. Semenyuk can't put it down. Oh, no, not great from Potlo. Oh, Milano somehow keep that ball ticking over. And Ishikawa, with that superb controlled swing, gets the kill. You said it, Simon, controlled swing by Ishikawa. Milano doing a good job working through this. That's set way too low for Losera, but they stay calm and collective for Ishikawa to do this right there with a the cross-court swing and a massive moment for them. To quote the film Caddyshack, that was a peach, huh? Good defense. Great work from Plotnitsky off the block. Semenyuk goes again. And the line shot that let him down earlier in the match is good this time around. Well, every point is important. And at this age of this match, Simon, and any time you get second or third opportunities to take advantage of it, Russo did so at that time. Now Russo at the end line and into the front row is Janelli's favorite target through the middle in Flavia. It's not looking good for Milano. Two down. Perugia lead 11-9. Semenyuk has hit 24 points now. Regas for 26. Thinks he's got the touch. Referee agrees. Milano still in the match. Porro's desperate to get back to that line. <laughs> right then. Ishikawa. Big toss. Big serve required. He knows it. You can see it in the body language. You don't often see Ishikawa do that. Puffs his cheeks out. Megarejo in. For blocking height for Kaziski and that of the Japanese superstars quality. Here we go. No, 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 no. That was just fantastic coaching, and it's all down to Lorenzetti that point. That might be it. Crowd deflated after that miss. And Bentara at the line. Stuck on 20 points for quite a while now, Wasim Bentara. And he'll stay stuck. That's a let-off for Milano. Yeah, that's a big miss. It gives Milano some life, definitely. That toss is just too aggressive for Bentara. Tried a little bit too hard, overextended himself that time. Regas front line. I can't see Porro going anywhere else in transition if the ball is there or thereabouts. Keep an eye on the Belgian right side. Losser to serve. Puts it into play, no more. And Flavio targeted. What a pick up from Porro. It's coming back as a freebie though. Peruja go again. Blockers overcommit. And it just leaves all the space in the world for Kamil Semenyuk to finish super clean again. 25 points in the game then for the Polish star. Semenyuk just hitting it. Extremely sharp angle, even Milano fighting to get this ball back over, but it's a free ball. You have to respect Flavio as Vitelli jumps on him. And then it's Semenyuk driving it cross court for the winner. Great piece of work from Gianelli. Great kill from Semenyuk. And then he goes hard at it from the line. Beautiful pass. Oh, what a play. Bit of pinball from Perugia. Regas goes again, and this time he plants it. 27 points tonight for Ferry Regas. And he can now win the match. Him. Oh, my goodness. What a performance by him. Perugia has not figured out how to stop him, even deep into the fifth set. Well, we talked about him taking the foot off the gas when he served last time at the end of set four. He can't afford to. Porro's in the front line now. Regas has to hit this ball hard. He does. It's out. Well, they're going to challenge. Referee says out. Piazza says in, and he's been pretty good tonight with his calls.
So have you, Matt, but that was another one that looked a bit too fast for the eye. I'm keeping my mouth shut on this one, Simon. I'm leaving <laughs> it up to video check. <laughs> Ace takes him to 28 points, but more importantly, it takes Milano level. If it is out, Perugia have two match points. Redenbanker Superliga Scudetto playoffs deliver drama and entertainment all the way. It's an ace. It's a brilliant video challenge. And it's 28 points for Ferre Regas. And Milano are still in the mix. Unbelievable, just unbelievable. The timing of a service ace from Reggers. Stay aggressive, stay aggressive and go hit this serve too. He has to. It's time to live and die by the sword now for this Milano lineup. Poro's in the front court. Perugia and Gianelli will be trying to find him. Reggers has to make that difficult with this serve. Game's level. Good hit. Kalachi, good pass. And there's that middle option again. Flavio bangs it away. 13 points on the night for the middleman. Set him until they can stop him. Then they've shown they can't stop Flavio. Ginelli continuing to go to him on the perfect pass for the perfect timing for that point. Catania's used every bit of his body tonight to try and stop Flavio. But he just couldn't. In comes Wilfredo Leon to just put the lid on things tonight. Match point, Perugia. Defended by Leon. This for the game, Plotnitsky can't put it down. And again, Plotnitsky defended again. Leon bumps him, third swing, and defended by Ishikawa. This to stay in the match. Oh, Regas is blocked out of sight. But it's out of court. Would you believe it? Milano are still in business. This is one hell of a game. Simon, I don't believe it. But I actually <laughs> do believe it. Reger scoring again from the back row when he needs it. His team needs the biggest point of the season. Reggers delivers as Perugia had three chances on offense. They couldn't find the court for a point. Insane volleyball. 29 points, Ferry Regas. 14 all. We go into overtime again. Two points required to win this game. And Mati Kaziski's at the line. Good serve. Perugia out of system. Plotnitsky finds the block. And the block can't find the court. Oh, that was heart in the mouth time. That was in the air forever. The arena fell silent as that ball traveled all the way through the end line and just missed it, Simon, for what could have been a massive block point, but it's instead now match point again for Perugia. Second match point for the Block Devils. How close was Vitelli here? It was off the top of his fingers, and it was centimeters long. Well played, Oleg Plotnitsky, having been blocked three times in a row, managed to get enough on that. Gianelli into play, good pass, Kaziski. And that is an audacious piece of setting from Paolo Poro. That's the perfect way to say it, Simon. He has not gone to Vitelli on offense <laughs> for the majority of the night, and he does it at match point when Perugia expects it the least, Vitelli delivers. The crowd's surprised, the blockers surprised. The only man in the stadium who wasn't was Vitelli. 15 all. Two match points saved by Milano. We play on. Vitelli to serve. Oh, wow. That is a, another incredibly aggressive serve. And what a leave from the uh, Perugia passing unit. That's Vitelli's favorite serve, side will hit side sideline to sideline, just missing that one wide. Third match point. It's Plotznitsky at the line. Can he deliver? 
Oh, it's a super service. It's trouble. Regas murders it. 30 points for Ferry Regas, and that might be the hit of the night. Just unbelievable, Simon. He continues to have the magic. An out-of-system play, barely saving it on the serve. Poro had nowhere else to go. He had one setter, one hitter to set. It was Regers, and he drives it through the block again for his 30th point. Stunning hit. And then the rotation that Perugia don't like. Poro puts it into play. Out of system. Blockers in business. They've got him. Semenyuk planted on the floor, and it might be Regers that's blocked him. Regers, Loser, and Ishikawa that time in that triple block. First match points of the evening for Allianz Milano in a quite sensational display. Responsibility of putting this away. Milano, Roberto Piazza, match point here in the Allianz cloud. Poro to serve. It's a cracking serve. Semenyuk is touched by the block it's in play it's in play Regas doesn't put it down Perugia can still stay in the match with Bentara and they do the chance <laughs> has gone for Milano temporarily crowd think it's theirs I think the block has already admitted the touch it's Bentara's point it's Perugia's point and we are level I don't think I can take much more of this, Matt Prosser. <laughs> this is incredible. What a match between these two teams. Didn't expect to see this one tonight, Simon. Go this long into overtime in set five. This deep and this brilliant. Well, Regas has been credited with the point, but it is not his point. It's not Milano's point. Russo to serve. We're level. Out it goes. Pressure too much for the big middleman. Second match point arrives for the home side. It all comes down to the plan. Regas is front court, Poro back court, so Perugia no longer have the luxury of trying to look for the smaller blocker. And Ishikawa's turn now to serve big. He goes big. Good pass from Perugia and good middle. Flavio's back into that front court and Gianelli's looking for him again. He finds him even in the non-perfect pass. That was good pass, but it wasn't the first ball perfect pass that we've seen all night. He still goes to Flavio for the score. Ventara to serve. Two clear points still required. Good serve, overpass, Perugia for the points. Oh, what a dig from Catania. That is unreal volleyball. That might be one of the best plays we've seen all season. And Milano, take it. Catania has come up with massive digs at massive times. And that was another one to save it, to keep Milano in it. And to go to match point again, Catania with that just absolutely ridiculous dig. He is full on charged. Couldn't find anyone else to do high fives with there. That was just insane. Wow. Losser has the pressure of serving. Third match point to Milano. Off the tape. Perugia attacking system. Block is red. And that is it. Milano close it down for a quite remarkable win. And we go one game apiece in this incredible semi-final. Well, if we're honest, Matt Prosser, we were running out of superlatives. We were running out of words. That was just one of the best volleyball matches we've seen all season. It absolutely was an epic match between these two in the second matchup of this semifinal.